We are asked to solve the given quadratic inequality. Looking at the inequality, let's first set the right side equal to zero by adding eight to both sides. The given inequality is equivalent to x squared plus two x plus eight greater than zero. The next step is to solve the related equation, which is the quadratic equation x squared plus two x plus eight equals zero. Let's see if we can solve this by factoring. If the left side does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors, or because the first term is x squared, which is equal to x times x, we would have x in the first position of both binomials. The second terms of the binomial factors would need to be the factors of positive eight that add to positive two. Unfortunately, there are no factors of positive eight that add to positive two, which means this does not factor. And therefore, to solve the quadratic equation, we will need to use the quadratic formula. For the quadratic formula, notice that a is equal to one, b is equal to two, and c is equal to eight. And now we perform substitution into the quadratic formula. Performing substitution gives us x equals, in the numerator we have negative b, which is negative two, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is two squared, minus four times a times c, which is minus four times one times eight, all divided by two times a, which is two times one. Simplifying, we have x equals negative two plus or minus the square root of two squared is four, and then we have minus four times one times eight, which gives us minus 32, all divided by two times one, which is two. Four minus 32 is equal to negative 28. This gives us x equals negative two plus or minus the square root of negative 28, all divided by two. Notice how the square root of 28 is imaginary because the radicand is negative. Let's simplify this on the right side. The square root of negative 28 is equal to the square root of negative one times two times two times seven. The square root of negative one is i. The square root of two times two or two squared is equal to one factor of two. This simplifies to two i square root seven or two square root seven i. So this gives us negative two plus or minus two square root seven i all divided by two. If one or two we can simplify even further. This gives us x equals negative two divided by two plus or minus two square root seven i divided by two. And notice how both fractions simplify. Here we have negative one, here we have plus or minus square root seven i. But the important thing to recognize here is that we have two complex solutions, which means there are no real values of x that satisfy the equation or make the expression x squared plus two x plus eight equal to zero. So normally we take these solutions, plot them on the number line and then test the intervals but in this case, because we have two complex solutions, all the possible real values of x will make the expression x squared plus two x plus eight either positive or negative, or greater than zero or less than zero. And therefore in this case, and therefore in this case, we only have to test one real value for x. And let's test the easiest value of x equals zero. If x equals zero does satisfy the inequality, then all real numbers will satisfy the inequality and if x equals zero does not satisfy the inequality, there is no solution to the quadratic inequality. So substituting zero for x into this form of the inequality here, we have the square of zero plus two times zero plus eight greater than zero. Simplifying on the left, we just have eight greater than zero, which is true, which means all real values on the number line are true and therefore the solution is all real numbers. So to graph the solution, we graph all real numbers on the number line, so we graph the entire number line. We can also state the solution as all real numbers. We're using interval notation because we approach positive infinity to the right and negative infinity to the left. We have the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity using interval notation, and for positive and negative infinity, we always use parentheses.
So here are three ways to express the solution to the inequality, which is all real numbers. Before we go, let's also verify this graphically. And let's use this form of the inequality to verify the solution graphically. To verify the solution graphically, we graph the function f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 8, which is graphed here in blue. Because we want to determine when the expression on the left is greater than zero, we need to determine for which x values the function is above the x-axis. Function values are greater than zero or positive above the x-axis, equal to zero along the x-axis, and less than zero or negative below the x-axis. And looking at the graph of the quadratic function, notice how the entire graph is above the x-axis, which means the function values are always positive or greater than zero for all values of x, verifying the solution is all real numbers. I hope you found this helpful.